All right, let's see if this video works. So what I wanna do is walk you through the purpose exercise uh, for the capstone project session. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make some videos that outline just how to facilitate each part of it. So when you put them all together, uh, it'll give you a really good idea of how you might do it. And I will also make some facilitation notes so that you can take those with you to uh, the session with your team so you have something to refer to. So let's talk purpose exercise. Okay, so again, why is this important? So it's really important because when you bring a group, so first of all, what is it? So the purpose exercise is really about asking a question that connects people to why it's important to be there and gives them the opportunity uh, to share that with each other and kind of inspire one another. And it's really important because it, to that you open a session this way because people are gonna walk in, they're gonna be unsure about what's going on, uh, they might not have clarity around why it's important, um, and what this purpose exercise does is it creates psychological safety right away because it gets people talking about things that you know are maybe a little bit more deep than they're used to talking to each other about. Um, and it also gives the opportunity for them to elevate and inspire one another. So it gives them the opportunity actually to think about why what they're doing matters in a bunch of from a bunch of different perspectives. And then the sharing of that and the filling the room with stories not only gives them the opportunity to hear what each other has to say to inspire one another, but that filling the room with stories creates an energy in the room uh, that really kicks it off well. So it's a really important thing to do uh, to open it up. So let's kind of walk through how you might facilitate that. So you've just finished the introductions, you know, like, hey, here's what we're doing here, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then you want to say, now we want to do an exercise uh, or spend some time connecting to a shared purpose because I could sit up here and I could tell you all the reasons why I think it's important that we are here, but it's much more uh, empowering and interesting and inspiring for you guys to actually, you know, reflect on why it's important for you to be here and share that with one another. That's a much more valuable way for us to open this exercise. So what we're going to do is we're going to spend a few minutes reflecting and sharing on why what we're doing here today matters. Okay, and the best way that I could illustrate this, the, the best illustrate the importance of this exercise is to share a story called about th three bricklayers. It's a, you know, really old parable uh, and it illustrates an important point relative to what we're doing right now. So there's three bricklayers and there's a guy walking down the street and he sees these three bricklayers and he stops. They all seem to be doing the exact same thing. Um, he stops the first one and he says, hey, what is it that you, what are you doing? And the guy goes, uh, I'm laying bricks so I can make enough money to feed my family. Cool, that's great. I mean, there's no right or wrong answer here, so that's an interesting point of view, and that's a totally, totally acceptable answer. So he goes to the next person, he says, hey, what are you doing? And the person says, I am building a wall that will stand the test of time. Hmm, interesting. So two people doing the same thing, but with sort of a different sense of you know, what they're doing and why what they're doing matters. Uh, then he goes to the third bricklayer and he says, hey, what are you doing? And the bricklayer says, I am building a concert hall that will bring people together from all backgrounds and beliefs and connect them through the power of music and a shared experience, and thereby making the world a better place. And when the first two bricklayers heard the third bricklayer, they were so inspired that it imbued their work with a deeper sense of meaning and purpose. Um, and so that's why we are doing this exercise. We're doing this exercise to not only, you know, connect to why what we're doing is important, but to share that with one another and elevate our own experience uh, together, right? So that's really a way you can set up the exercise. But fundamentally, it's about, you know, thinking about why we are here on different dimensions. So why is it important for you? Why is it important for our team? Why is it important for our company and co our customers? And why is it important for the world? Like, let's actually spend some time thinking about why what we are doing here right now is important for the world. And when you get people to think bigger about why what they're doing here matters, or like why, why being here is important, um, man, it really is powerful to get them to do that. Okay, because we're just not, simply just not used to doing that. So again, introduce the purpose exercise, tell the bricklayer story, and then we're gonna go into asking the questions, right? Which, and I forget what I wrote down, but it's, you know, it's in the team site. 
Um, but you know, we always want to ask like, what is it about being here, you know, actively working to shape the future of your team uh, that fills you with a sense of energy and optimism? And why is being here important for you? Why is it being here important for our team? Why is being here important for our customers and for the world? Okay. And so then what you'll give them to do, you'll get them to do is give them three minutes or so to just write that, like to journal on that. So make sure they have something to write with and something to write on. You can bring that. Uh, give them three minutes to journal about that. Okay. Now, depending on the size of your team, um, you probably want to do this. Um, you might want to just, once they're done, okay, give them three minutes to journal. Let them know when there's a minute left, maybe when there's 30 seconds left. If you want to put on some music, may, that may seem a little corny, but it can be very powerful. So I'll share a playlist that I use that you can use if you want to. Uh, no obligation to do that. Um, and so then what you're gonna get, that they will have reflected, they'll have jotted some things down, and then what you're gonna get them to do is you're gonna get them to find somebody and share their answers, okay? Now, encourage them in this, like if there's somebody in here that you don't know that well, you don't have the opportunity to work with that often, take this opportunity to make a new friend, right? And so what'll happen is they'll give them like, I don't know, two, three minutes, three, four minutes maybe to share their stories with one another, and then, what you'll do is you'll hear the room, it'll be a little quiet at first, then people will start talking, the room will uh, be filled up with stories. And after you give them three or four minutes to share, and just kind of watch the energy, don't let it go on too long, uh, but you know, you'll be able to you see the energy and just start giving them some, you know, 30 seconds left, whatever. So then when they share, what you're gonna invite them to do is, I'd love to invite you to either, you know, share either what you wrote down or something that you heard that's really important, uh, something you heard that's really important that you feel like we should also hear. Okay, so again, share what you wrote down or share something that you heard from the person that you talked to uh, that feels important enough that we, should all, uh, that we should all benefit from it, right? And so then probably what will happen is there'll be some awkward silence. Wait for it, okay? Don't jump in, just wait for it. Somebody will say it put up their hand and say something, okay? Now what's really important here is what you are hearing, you should be jotting down what you're hearing. Just, you know, a word or two, like based on uh, what you're hearing, it might, you know, it might be like oh, customer service or it might be like making a difference or, you know, you know, being wanting my kids to be proud of me or whatever. And so just as each person is writing down, just be taking some notes. And so then get like two or three or four, probably three or four shares. You know, and if more people want to share, that's great. And then at the end, what I want you to do to wrap up this exercise is to reflect back what you've heard. So as you're looking at what you've written down, it's called tracking. Just be looking for connection points, whether it's themes or bigger ideas or where, you know, where the energy is or whatever. But just reflect, thank you so much for, you know, first of all, for having the courage, for being willing to participate uh, in this exercise the way you did and also for having the courage to be able to share what you wrote down or what you heard, right? And so here's, as I listen to you, uh, here are some of the, the important things that I have heard. And what's and then just list them back and say, that's really exciting to me because you know what I heard uh, from you is just sets us up in such a great way for what's to come. And with that being said, here's what's next. Okay, and that's it. That's the purpose exercise right there. So it should probably take about 15 minutes. You might wanna do an intro for like three, four minutes where you tell the bricklayer story, give them a few minutes, like three, three minutes to journal, give them you know, three, four, five minutes to, uh, to share their uh, answers with one another, to get them to pair up and share their answers with one another, and then another few minutes for shares and then for you to reflect back what you heard. That's it. Okay, so that is the purpose exercise. Again, I will give you some detailed facilitation notes on this as well uh, for everything, actually. Um, but I'm, I'll make another. I'll make a, one of these kind of videos for every section of the session. Okay, so boom! You just learned an amazing way to open up really any session with your team, right? It could be anything. It could be goal setting. It could be a meeting about some new process. Uh, it could even be uh, just a team meeting. You know, you don't want to do that with every team meeting. But you might do it with a team meeting here and there. Like, why these team meetings? Why is it? Why is being here actually important? Like, I would love to hear what you have to say. So that is the purpose exercise, and you really, whenever you bring a group of people together like this to, to work on something together, 
it's really important for you to open it up with this because it really immediately, again, creates psychological safety and helps people elevate their own and each other's sense of why what they're doing here matters. Uh, and it just sets the tone really, really powerfully for what's about to come. So, good luck. First of many videos.